Before my intro and before we get into this video, I would like to thank the underscore Slytherin Unicorn, who I know who is from my live streams, this is just the Instagram, um, for sending in this amazing fan art. As you guys know, as part of Fan Demand Week, I wanted to highlight you guys' fan art, and this is the ones that I have received. There's a drawing of me in the middle, which honestly, the nose is really accurate according to like my um, advertise. Uh, not advertise, Avatar, not advertise. I don't know what I'm saying. The Sims 4, I love the logo on top. Mr. and Mrs. Machete, because if you guys watch my Jungle Adventure series, you guys know we love machetes. And then We Love You, Nick. I love, thank you. That's so cute. And then um, Give Me My Fluffy Olaf. You might get it later in the week. Hardcore Rabbi Gamer Girl. And then um, and Almost at 10K. Yes. And then If You Guys Don't Mate, I'm Going to Kill You. That is one of the things that I said when recording Cats and Dogs. So thank you so much, Hardcore Rabbi Gamer Girl or the underscore Slytherin Unicorn for making this fan art if you guys have any fan art to submit let me know and maybe we'll get featured so let's go on with the video <laughs> Hello there everyone, Quinnica D here, welcome back to another video. Today, I am here with another video part of Fan Demand Week, and today's video is going to be how I make my thumbnails. So you guys always ask me how I make my thumbnails, all of you, you know, what, not just like what software I use, but like just how I do them, because many people think I pay people to do my thumbnails, which is absolutely absurd, and never, like, no. Um, I make them myself, and it's actually really simple, and it's a really cool design if any of you guys want to do it out yourself. So today, I'm going to be literally making a thumbnail, not just, you know, doing a blah blah blah. We're gonna be making a thumbnail for the 7 Toddler Challenge, which I will be doing... Did I already do it, or I will be doing it? Depends how these videos. I'm doing the 7 Toddler Challenge this week. So, first things first, I just have the size of a YouTube thumbnail, right? And next... The next thing to get this, this is a this is a template. So basically, in my in my folder here, I have like the template, and um, I open it and it's blank like this every single time. So all this is this is a rectangle right here with a gradient overlay on it, um, which is like the red gradient overlay, and this is just my logo. Like that that's pretty much all it is. And then this font is King of the Hill with a stroke on the out of, on the outside of it, so it like it stays outside like bolded. So here, so we're gonna name. Sims 4, 7 Toddler Challenge. There we go. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is, I don't think you guys definitely won't be able to see what I'm doing right now. I'm going into my files to obtain the images that I want to use in this edit. I sounded like a robot there for a second. Um, so, the 7 Toddler Challenge, obviously, we're going. this is going to be quite a hefty load to um, edit because we have to put seven toddlers and Millie Bobby Brown on a page. So as you see here, they are slowly but surely appearing, which as I said, this is going to be quite a bit. So let's start with Millie Bobby Brown. So she kind of looks a little bit drowsy here, so I'm just gonna layer from the background. I also apologize if Photoshop might be acting a little bit slower. I really, I've never recorded while using Photoshop and I have my game open at the same time, so it might be a little bit slow. So we're going to put Millie Bobby Brown onto the main page here, right in the center. And this is exactly like, I'm not doing anything too special for this one. I'm going to be making it exactly how I make the rest of my things. And we're going to go to the next one. I don't know which toddler this is. Different background. This toddler. So the toddlers, I would like to be like a little bit smaller than her and like kind of like surrounding her because I feel like I, I just think that that's kind of cool the best way to do it um I keep forgetting to layer from background I actually take graphic design um a class in school and I pretty good at it like or like the projects that we get are pretty easy and I'm so lucky that I had have prior knowledge of photoshop otherwise like you know the most trivial things like cutting and pasting would be it's so like like cutting and pasting would be so annoying to do like I I help my friends a lot around me and I sometimes end up doing their projects for them um, but because like it's I don't blame them it's really frustrating and hard when like you you, you know your fingers just aren't used to um, even like cutting and pasting I know it sounds kind of crazy but that's what it is so I'm just gonna continue um, doing this and I do this for a lot of my thumbnails as you guys see I get a lot of outside um, like outside pictures for the thumbnails and end up 
you know, putting them onto my thumbnail. I also um, sometimes put myself in the thumbnail next to, you know, everything else, which is probably the most complicated thing to do, and it's really not even that complicated. It's the same process as doing this, except it's, like, um, harder to crop out because, like, everything is, you know, around me in the picture. So we have two more. I'm pretty sure we have two more. Oops. Can't do that. Like, and, okay. Making thumbnails for me is, like, probably one of the most en enjoyable parts about... I don't know why I did it like that, but sure. Um, is probably the, one of the most enjoyable things about, you know, the video creating process. I feel like any creator... Every creator is different, so not all creators might like to do video editing, but personally, I... I mean, thumbnail editing, but personally, I do... I do enjoy it, I guess. It's just, you know, kind of relaxing, and, um, I could just sit here, and another thing is that, like, I could talk to my friends at the same time, and, like, they don't even have to hear myself speaking, because, you know, when you're editing and talking to your friends, it's like, oh, let me mute myself, because I don't want you to hear me talking on repeat over and over again, so, yeah. Alright, so, we are almost done with this, the simplest part, and I know what you're saying is, like, you know, Nick, what the heck? There's no background. Well, we're, we're gonna get to that, but first we have to do this. So we have the seven toddlers that we want on our thumbnail, and we, I kind of have them in the best position possible, I guess. Um, okay. So. Let's see, we're gonna stick her, stick her there. Kind of stick this girl over here. And this kid will put on the angle as well, put him right there. Okay. Now, what I always do is I put a black and white outline. So first things first, I'm going to make these all one thing, which is converting to a smart object. And then I'm going to put an outer glow on them, which I have default set to um, a size of eight and a range of 45 and black. But first I always go to white just to give it that pop of color. And then I do um, convert to smart object again. And then what we do is we go back in and put the second outer glow on it and there. Now everything is outlined and cool and it's one big thing. And last but not least, we get a background. So right now, I know you can't see, but I am searching for a starburst background. So you just, not the, like the candy, you just type in a color. So for this one, I think I'm going to be doing a pink starburst background just because it's like the toddler home that I downloaded for them is like pink and fun and whatever. So I'm just gonna find whatever, whatever background I want that is like, you know, a starburst background, which is, I, I will show you exactly what I mean by that. Um, it's this. So this is called a starburst background. We make them in all different colors. If you look at all my videos, that is like, this is basically what all my videos have in the background of their thumbnails. Um, so I'm just gonna do it just like that. And then if I want to edit the color, which I will be doing, I'm going to put a color overlay on it, change the color overlay, possibly just to red pretty much, and kind of just giving it more of like a color like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put, get some flame, like cartoon flames because in the sim supply in his thing um his thumbnail which i'm like kind of trying to base it off of he kind of put like flames in it to symbolize the you know how evil the toddlers were and i feel like when i do this challenge these toddlers will be quite evil so i think that it is only appropriate for us to um put some flames in the background so i'm just gonna cut these all out and make them separate images as you see you can probably tell just by like what's occurring right now that you know it's kind of turning into a cool nikki d thumb oh, it's kind of turning into a cool nikki d thumbnail it's like oh like that's how he does that that's how he does that and that's pretty much what i want what the goal of this was was to show you guys like how i create this and um just how real like easy it actually is for those of you that want to do this yourself like something like this yourself and if you guys like ever actually want me to um make thumbnails for you i will do it but i will definitely definitely have to charge because your boy needs the money he does all right let's do it like that i feel like that's like a good, good thing obviously not like that though we'll put this on top of there so i'm not um, set on fire, gonna erase this, make it, oh, that is not what I wanna do, erase 
this to make it not go under my nose. Right there. Awesome. And then we have the seven toddler challenge. Let's make this one smart object as well and give it like a I'm not, I'm not gonna give it like that kind of outer glow. I might give it like this kind of outer glow, which is just the white of the background. Yeah. Just like that. There we go. And just like that. We have the seven toddler challenge, and to emphasize the number seven, let's put like that. The seven toddler challenge. Now I'm gonna do just like the seven toddler challenge, and let's move the guys down. Actually, we can just put our the title on top of her. There we go. There is. The seven toddler challenge thumbnail, and there is exactly how easy it is to make a cool Nikiji thumbnail. It is, guys, it is really not hard at all, and I can't wait for you to watch the seven toddler challenge. It's gonna be great. So then, basically, I just save it under like thumbnail one, thumbnail two, whatever I have, you know, to do, and that's exactly how I make my thumbnails. It's super simple, and I'm glad I was able to share it with you. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like. It's a big help. Um, if you want me to do any other tutorials on how I edit my videos, things like that, let me know. I'll maybe I'll you know do it. Obviously not in fan demand week because I kind of have this. This week is jam packed already. So that's it. I'll see you guys all again next time. Goodbye.